The Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast on demand. Every week, every day, we throw out situations that you send us because sometimes you just need the advice of people that aren't in your situation who can look at it, uh, uh, you know, objectively. Objectively. Yeah. And yes. we call it group therapy. You can always message us at Ben and Kelly show. Kelly got this one. Uh, yeah, I'd be freaking out if this was me. So mm-hmm. she writes several months ago, my family and I pulled into our driveway in my vehicle we noticed that there were wires pulled down underneath my husband's car. Mm. Turns out, someone cut his brake lines. <laughs> I was totally freaked out. Wanted to call the cops to make a report. Yeah. He vehemently refused and said it wouldn't do any good. Oh, my gosh. He was able to repair the brakes himself. Didn't want to talk about it. Okay. I wanted to talk about it. Right. But didn't want our kids to hear for fear that they might get scared or something. Oh, my gosh. I asked him repeatedly who could have done this. He said probably neighborhood kids. I said neighborhood kids don't usually try to kill people. Yeah. So he bought outside motion detector cameras immediately after this. Nothing has happened since. Now, my husband is kind of a quiet, mild-mannered guy. He has absolutely no game. I made the first, second, and third moves. LOL. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I know where he is every minute of the day. Does this kind of vandalism sound like the work of an angry girlfriend or a girlfriend's husband or something like that? He doesn't seem like the type to cheat. But his lack of willingness to discuss it troubles me the most. What are your thoughts? Or? Or? A. Oh, no. You're late on the vig. <gasps> um, yeah, so this is a little bit weird. And I mean, that is extreme. That is not a typical vandalism of like neighborhood kids who are up to so no good. So Rex, the dump truck driver, texts in and says, Mistress, I don't think this is something a woman would do. Am I am I yeah. off base here? Well, I not many women I know would think I'm going to cut the brake lines. First of all, wouldn't know where the brake lines are. Um, Ashley <laughs> Ashley writes on Facebook, do you ever drive his car? Like, oh. I, I wonder, Ooh. implying that maybe it's not for him, it's for you. Man, but like maybe. cutting the brakes, oh, wow. I mean, that's a big thing, right? That's huge. Like that, Like they said, that could be like a fatal thing. Like if it was done intentionally. Can I which, throw... You know, Go okay, go ahead. You uh, I was going to say, c- can I throw something out that's maybe different than everything that everybody's thinking? What are you thinking? Is it possible that the wires caught on something that he drove over and ripped them? Is that, I mean, I don't know enough about cars, but is that... That sounds feasible in my mind. Is it possible that he drove over something that snagged those and literally severed those those lines? I mean... I I see, I don't know. Or is it like, can like a squirrel get in there and nibble (laughs) it? I don't know. I mean, I don't, again, I know zero about (laughs) brake lines. I don't know how thick they are. Yeah, I don't know if any. I know nothing about this. I I don't know if any like mechanics or anybody who works on cars has any insight into this or, or has like literally repaired brake lines that have been severed and, and I've seen some of this stuff that maybe can weigh in on this, but I don't know. 502-571-9970. This is group therapy. Do we have a case of mob activity? I don't know, but this music is making me feel like, yeah. And I just, the nature of this makes me feel like, yes. Yeah, cut brake lines. Uh, the husband doesn't want to talk about it. The wife is freaking out. And he's like, let's not, we don't need to go to the police. I'll just repair the lines myself. Let's not worry about it. Now, I got to be honest, uh, Rebecca comments on Facebook literally what my wife would do too. She's like, nope, sorry. But if somebody literally tried to kill us, there'd be absolutely would have been a police report made and there would have been no talking me out of it. Yeah, there's no yes. way. If I if I would have gone and, and if this would have happened to me and we would have pulled in and we would have seen, uh, you know, my car's brakes lines cut, uh, she would have, um, like, I, and I would have been, don't worry about it. You know, I'll just repair it myself. 
she would have absolutely said no. Absolutely not. We're calling the police now. No, 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 yeah. no. Let's not get the police involved. And, and it didn't matter. It was, She would have done it. So I, I, yeah, Rebecca, I totally agree with you there. Yeah, so we get, um, you know, we had kind of mentioned, okay, is this something that maybe he might have accidentally run over something that would have caught it? But Courtney said, you know, if they got caught on something, he wouldn't be able to break to park, right? That is a good point, Courtney. Really good point. Got another text. Does he owe money? Is there a gambling addiction maybe in play here? Uh, Michael said, this is Michael from Red Baron. Brakes are sometimes metal lines. Mm. They can be a rubber hose. More than likely, they were cut. Oh, wow. Yeah, some people are saying, could it be a mistress's husband that Ooh. got angry? Um, and Matthew throws out, maybe he's living a double life in that he's seeing not a mistress, but a gentleman on the side. Why? There are like an, a, a million so many things people, that were tossed I know, out. So and, many people are throwing out I, scenarios. I know, and so I don't. I don't even know. Like, I don't think we're helping her no. in pointing her in some sort of direction to go down to further investigate this. Because, like, I'm with her. Like, her husband's hesitancy to like file a report to try to figure out why this happened is really alarming. Mm-hmm. Like, what is he hiding? Here's here's what is kind of surprising to me. How many people are commenting on the thread saying? Don't overthink it. Don't worry about it. What? Like, people are like, let's not worry about it. If it hasn't happened yet as since, if nothing's happened since, you're overthinking it. Like, this our- is not normal, like, quote, vandalism. I know. This is not like, you know, egging someone's house, throwing some teepee in the, in the tree. There, I mean, this is, this is like, could be potentially fatal. This could have killed someone. So here's, here's my thought. And this is where I think we need to just kind of move on from. We need to get the authorities involved. Like this, yeah, absolutely, she needs to follow a report. Yeah, yeah. This is this is something where you need to, even if you go behind his back and yeah. and do it. I think this is one of those cases where you have to take the bull by the horns and get to the bottom of this. You know? Oh, or- I really hope that she does something about it. Files a report. I need to know the answer to this one. This is like this is a bona fide mystery. I'm going to need closure. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Okay. I'm going to need an answer. I, like, we're going to need to know who did it. Yeah, 100%. So, uh, Otherwise, that, I'm not going to rest. I'm not going to sleep. Yeah, do that and then follow up with us and uh, let us know what you find out. So, Wow. Uh, hopefully, you guys are safe and uh, everything is is cool from here on out. Whew. All right. That I'm is, alarmed for her. I'm really concerned about her safety. This yeah. is just really disturbing. I know. I know. Me too. All right. That's the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show and Group Therapy.